folks, I am the man that plays on 10. So today, instead of playing music, we are going to do some guitar modification on this BC Rich Pro Eagle X. What are we gonna do? We're gonna install EMG pickups in it, active pickups, but not just regular ones. We're gonna do the special edition James Hetfield, yeah, 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 pickups in this guitar today. Now, I know what you're all saying out there. No one's ever installed such nice pickups on such a mediocre guitar. But, you know, being that I'm the man that plays on 10, we are gonna be the first to do this. Because the man that plays on 10, how can he possibly play on 10 if he's using these crappy, um, they are called BDSM, that DC Rich is selling, BDSM. I don't know how to take that, what to do with that, but that's what they have installed. I mean, they're okay pickups, but we're gonna do a lot better. This guitar is gonna sound a lot better once we are done doing this surgery. So the most important thing, people, is leave me some feedback. Uh, if you own one of these guitars, or if you've ever done an install job of EMG or any kind of active pickups, hey, let's share knowledge. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and modify this guitar on hand. First step before we actually install these pickups is uh, we have to open the box. We have to see what's in the box, so let's Let's get in this box here. There's there's the man himself, the, uh, the James Hetfield, Papa Hit. Okay, here we go. So we take that. Now, let's open this nice black box. Oh, look at that. Now we have, look at this, it comes with, it comes with a pick. Look at this, this is amazing. This, out. This, this is apparently the instructions on how to do this. Look at that. You get your own metallic pick. Okay, so let's put this aside right now. Now, look at this. What is this? This pickup set comes with its own hardware. So what you have to do is you have to basically, if you have a passive guitar, you get to gut the entire thing, which is a new start, which is really the best way to go. So that's why I got the entire set as opposed to one pickup, because it came with all the hardware, all the wires we need. This thing's gonna work out great. Can't wait to get to work on this. Let's look at the pickups. Look at this. This is your bridge pickup. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Isn't this cool? We got the brushed metal model. You could get them in black, chrome, gold. But we got the brushed metal ones for that nice classic. Look, look at that. that nice? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay, let's put that back. And, uh... Let's check out... Also... It comes with both tone and volume pots. Look at that. Isn't that cool? We're gonna replace our pots with these high quality solderless pots. See that? We plug in the wires to this. Nice and easy, nice and modular. That's a volume control. Get back in there. So it comes with four of them, just in case you're doing like a Les Paul type guitar. Our BC Rich only has three pots, it has one master tone and two volumes. What we could do is maybe we could drill another hole, put another tone, we'll see. We'll see how it goes if we're gonna do that. If we wanna mess up the body work that much. There you go, you have passive tone. Isn't that cool? Okay, and we got a new input. Brand new input, look at that, that's cool. And this here is the brains of the whole operation. This is where everything comes together, this is the hub. So your toggle switch, your ground, both pickups, everything plugs into this. It has a little adhesive here where you plug, you stick this to the inside of your guitar. And uh, there you have it, folks. This is cool. I can't wait to get started on this product. And uh, James Hetfield will be very happy. He'll be very proud that we have his pickups, that we're going to install them in our BC Rich Pro Eagle. So um, here we go. So next segment, we will be installing these pickups. Right, Jamie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, what do we need to perform this surgery? We need a drill. We need a 3 8 inch and a quarter inch ratchet. We need a wire stripper, some Allen keys, a soldering iron, and that should be good. All right, here is the victim, the patient, the BC Rich Pro Eagle, which needs new pickups. Now, let us begin. Now, having removed the back panel, obviously, we will 
get in here into the electronics cavity. First step, we're just going to uh, loosen up all these wires. They've been tied up um, nice and neat. Looks nice and neat in there. They, they kept everything organized. It's going to get a lot messier uh, after this project is finished. This is pretty sane, what they've got in here. They've got, a, they, they've got it pretty nice in here. It's going to get crowded. So let's start um, desoldering these contacts with the soldering iron. Now hopefully this works. All right, so as I feared here, these are factory contacts. Basically, they were robo-soldered. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use a wire cutter in order to uh, release these contacts. The soldering iron simply will not get hot enough. I think it needs to be as hot as the sun or something to actually melt these robo-solder contacts. So here we go, we'll cut all these wires out. Now, what wires are we cutting here? We're gonna need every wire that's attached to the toggle switch we're not gonna remove. We're gonna simply cut all these wires off of their ends that are attached to the pots, but the sides that are on the toggle switch we're gonna leave. We're gonna need those later on to connect to the hub. So here we go. This green wire comes off of the toggle switch. That is for one of the pickups. That's a signal carrier, okay. Let's move that, cut that. Okay, the red, blue, and green wire are coming from the toggle switch. This gray wire we're about to cut is coming from, I think, the neck pickup. So the gray wires in this situation are coming from the pickups, but that might not be the same in your guitar. However, the pickup wires will sort of be a wire encasing with a couple of wires, at least two wires uh, within that. So, here we go, let's move that out of the way. Next, we'll get the quarter inch ratchet and we will remove the entire output assembly starting with the exterior nut. Now, here we go, we're gonna take this out. This is the old output or input, whatever the hell it is. And that comes out easier since we already cut the wire. So moving to the next step, we're gonna go ahead and remove these knob covers. These are the original knob covers that came with this BC Rich guitar. You just get your Allen key here. I'm not sure exactly what size it is, but you it'll the small one will fit. They're very small. So there we go. Undo that so we can get to the nut underneath that's holding the pot in position. So we'll do this to all three knobs here on the exterior of the guitar. Now all of the knobs are removed so we can go ahead with the uh, 3 eighths ratchet. That's the size we need for these. That's the standard size of pots on guitars. So here we go, let's loosen these. So we have three of them. There's the second one. As you can see, pots come right out. There's nothing else holding them in. They're not glued in or anything. Here we have the original 500K pots that were in this guitar. We're going to replace them with the provided 25K pots that are of a much higher quality standard and are completely solderless. Here we have the completely hollowed out body cavity of the original BC Rich guitar. Now what we're doing here is we're using this marker or this colored pencil to mark exactly how far the input uh, is going to go in. Now what we're gonna do is basically, while we have this cavity empty, we're gonna map out where everything is gonna go before we go ahead and do this and realize nothing actually fits. So we're gonna make sure everything fits before we uh, start mounting things. 
Uh, I, I do suggest you do this with any guitar, because obviously space is limited in here. Right now it looks nice and spacious, but once we get all these pots in here and these wires mounted, uh, we're gonna, we might, it might be a different story. So we're gonna make sure it works. We're gonna make a plan. And you'll love it when a plan comes together. Next, the dangerous part. Uh, we're gonna apply some tape on the exterior finish of this guitar to hopefully prevent the paint finish or the wood itself from cracking as we uh, violently drill through. Now, I don't recommend doing this with an expensive guitar, like any kind of Gibson, anything that costs like over a thousand bucks. Don't do this with, uh, don't do this part, skip this part. But here we go. Let's drill. We know you all like drilling. Now, it's time for some demolition. Now, we need to remove these strings, so I know you always wanted to do this. We get a wire cutter, and we're gonna cut. Yeah, see the rolls. But uh, make sure you loosen the tension before you do something like this, because these strings will fling off and poke your <laughs> eyes out. Be blinded, and you'll be blaming the man that plays on 10 for your own blindness. So, be careful. The strings being removed. We have a clear shot at removing the pickups here. So we're gonna uh, unscrew the pickup screws and remove both of these BDSM DC rich pickups. Now you just need a regular Phillips head screwdriver and this should be pretty easy. We'll start by removing the uh, pickup, uh, whatever these things are called. Frames? What are these called, people? Comment. Okay. All right, now that those are removed, we could go ahead and move the pickups right out. The connections are no longer there, so they should just uh, slide right out. Pull the wires, and uh, nice and easy. We'll save these for something else. We're going to hold on to these pickups. Maybe we have another guitar down the line we want to install these in. I don't know. They're, they weren't bad pickups, but we're going to do a lot better. Okay, here we go. Pull that out. There it goes. That should give. All right. Now, for the next step. Here we are, here at the original BDSM pickups by the G&B Pickup Company of Armonk, New York. No, I don't really know where they're but uh, here they are. Now, let's take apart the pickup assembly. So we unscrew the uh, spring adjustment screws. This will eventually make the spring just come right out. Now, um, the new pickups come with their own spring, so we're not going to need these things, but we'll hold on to them for uh, whenever you might want to use these pickups in the not-so-near future. All right, let's go ahead and move both of these springs, and the pickup should come right out because, obviously, we're not changing the pickup frame, not the assembly. We're just taking the pickup out of there. There you go. That comes right out. Okay, a little bit more. And good. There you go. Uh, these springs are sticking to the magnets here. That just, that's good because it holds everything together. You don't lose anything with pickups. They just hold everything close to them. They don't let anything get away. There you go. Let's uh, move that aside for now. And now for the fun part. Here we have the James Hetfield yeah, yeah! pickups. We're going to install the pickup into the pickup frame right, with the screw assembly so that we might be able to raise and lower the height 
of these pickups. All right, so let's get that lined up. And for the other side, let's screw that in there. And done. Okay, we have the pickup assembly. Let's see if it fits. Right there. All right, looks nice. That just improves the look of the guitar. Looks great. Okay, so let's move on to the wiring of these pickups, which should be very easily since everything is plugged in in modular. No soldering. This should go pretty easy. So let's wire these through the little tunnel that leads into the cavity. So they fit all right. I was kind of worried at first that these might not fit due to their little ending connectors, but they fit fine. So that's nice. So there we go. So that's the bridge pickup. I'm going to put that right there. Leave that there. And I've got to make sure both wires can get through the little tunnel. All right, make sure there's no slack. Get that wire all the way in there. And boom, there we are. Looks good. Just uh, makes the guitar look so much better. I mean, who could not like these things? Even if they sound like shit. These, I mean, this thing looks great. Okay, so let's install these. Let's screw in the four corners. These pickup assemblies. We'll go ahead and do that with the Phillips screwdriver. And there it is. All finished. These pickups are installed. Now, back to the cavity. We are now going to install the set of provided pots for these EMG pickups. Now, the pots come with all the hardware, everything you need. You won't have to use any of your old hardware. I do suggest using everything they came with. So there you go. That one goes in there. That's a volume control. Now, the volume control has um, should have six contacts, I think. So, you know, of course, it'll also say volume on there. So there won't be any confusion as to the difference between the volume controls and the tone controls. So once that's in, we fix the bolt or nut on the other side. And that's good. You can do that with your fingers. Okay. So there we go. There's the hardware. There's the pot. We're going to do another one. Okay. This is going to be our other volume control. There, fits perfectly. Now, good thing, like before, we mapped out the entire cavity here so we know where everything is gonna go and where everything's gonna fit. So, perfect, there we go. Now, here we have the finished result of the installation of all of the provided EMG pots. As you can see here, we have a pretty good layout here where all of the wires can reach each other. So here we have the map that we drew so we know where everything is going to go. Now it's time to install the input. This input was also provided uh, from in this package. So we're going to go ahead and put on this washer on the other side. Okay, make sure that's in there. And of course the nut goes on the opposite side. So there we go, we can stick this through here. And the other end should come out of the jack plate where we will install the nut on the other side, locking in the input. There it is. So we have another nut for the outside. I'm sorry, another washer. And then the nut goes on and boom. That's easy. Hey, test. Okay. 
next we've got to do something dangerous. Now, uh, don't try this at home, kids, but um, actually do try this at home because you're going to actually have to do this to get this job done. We're going to get the soldering iron, and we're going to have to solder a ground wire coming off of the toggle switch. Uh, I know I said um, active pickups don't need a ground. They don't need a string ground, but they do need a ground off of the toggle switch. So um, in this type of toggle switch, the ground will connect to where all the wires come together. So we're going to use this gray wire. And now that that's mounted, we are going to get the hub and we're going to loosen the contact here. These are all screw on contacts, by the way, so no more soldering to the hub. We're going to put the ground where it says ground. Now, this, these things will be specifically marked on the hubs. Nice and easy. So let's do that. Tighten that. There we go. And now the ground is connected to the hub. We're going to use the gray wire as the as a ground. Now, that might not apply to your guitar, though, so be cautious. Next, we are going to put in this blue wire is, let's strip that first. We need to get some contact on here so we can get a good uh, connection. Okay, next for the output wire, we have a good strip on that. So we have good connection. Now the blue is coming off the toggle switch. That is the output in this particular guitar. This might not apply for your guitar. So let's get a good connection there. Let's screw that in. So output and ground are now connected to the hub. Next, we will connect both wires from the pickups. So the two wires, the two remaining wires coming off of the toggle switch are your neck and bridge pickup. So first, let's take a look at this. So we're gonna do the neck pickup. As you can see, they're clearly marked. So the green wire will be the neck pickup. And basically you have to determine those from their position on the toggle switch. So it'll basically be pretty straightforward. They'll be on the side that you would switch it to, to select that particular pickup. And the red will be the bridge pickup. So now our entire toggle switch is wired up to, okay. Here we go. It's all smooth sailing from here. We are through the dark tunnel of soldering. So we're going to remove the adhesive on the hub that is placed underneath, and we're going to place it where we had originally planned inside the electronics cavity. So we have it marked there, so it fits perfectly. So there we go. Okay. So now we have to start connecting all of these loose wires. This particular wire comes from the pickup. So the red wire goes into the red area, the red box on the hub, and the white wire goes onto the volume control. And this, of course, is the bridge pickup. The wires that are coming off of the pickups will be marked in gray or black, the, the black tipped wire being the bridge and the gray one being the neck. So here's the neck right here. We've got that. So we're going to take that and plug that into the neck pickup volume control. Now the contacts can go pretty much anywhere on the outside of the volume control. It has six contacts, six leads, and as long as it is on the outside, they should be fine. And make sure your terminals are up, otherwise they are backwards and they won't work. So there you go. There goes the neck. Good connection there. Okay, and let's put the power into the hub. That'll provide power to the pickup. Now you could plug the power leads anywhere on the red area on the hub. They should work on any contact. Okay, now what's this loose wire for? What do we do with this? We're gonna take this wire, plug it into the remaining contact, um, actually not the remaining contact, on the other outside contact of the volume control, and it's gonna go straight into the tone control of that respective volume. So your neck volume will go into your neck tone and vice versa, your bridge will go into your bridge tone. So there we go, it's just one connection and we could connect that onto the tone. Now the tone will only have one connection each. The other 
contact will not be used in this configuration. Now there are multiple configurations you can use for wiring these pickups that are providing the instructions. We're gonna do the sort of Gibson Les Paul style. So now we have one more wire and that is going to go from the volume control back on to the hub. This is the final step. This is where it all comes together. We're gonna to do that for both the volume controls, both the neck and the bridge. So we have one more wire and this is what brings everything together in the hub. So basically this allows the toggle switch to, to select these pickups from the hub. So let's do that with both volumes. There we go. So we're all set there. We've got a good connection. All right. There it is, it's all done. Now we have a mess of wires, so maybe you wanna sort of tie these wires up. Okay, finally, the battery. And that's pretty self-explanatory. You need a battery to operate this device. Um, you'll know if there's no, if your battery is out. The battery lasts pretty long, just don't leave it plugged in. Okay, so let's now reinstall the knobs with the Allen key. This is pretty straightforward. Now these are the provided knobs. Of course, um, since we added one more pot, than the guitar originally had come with, um, you're gonna need an extra knob. So if you have some old guitar laying around, maybe you could take a knob or just get one from your music store or from Stumac. Uh, they're pretty ready available. You know, I'm gonna put the original style knobs back on to this guitar. I just happen to have an old Ibanez laying around that has similar knobs. So it works pretty good. For your new guitar overload. Prepare to play on chain. Alright folks, now that the surgery is all finished, let's give this baby a test. We're going to start with the original BC Rich BDSM pickups using the bridge position only because um, honestly you can't play on 10 with the neck position the bridge position is the play on 10 position the, the bridge position is, is the metal position so we're only going to use the bridge on this. so here we go with the original BC Rich BDSM pickups and obviously we'll be playing HIT THE LIGHTS by Metallica EMG headset. Back to the original. And EMGs again. So what's the difference? What do you hear? Uh, in my opinion, I hear clearer highs. Clearer mids, a little bit less low end, but a lot of note for note clarity. As with the BDSMs, I'm getting a lot of muddiness, a little more low end, a little more heaviness, but it's kind of hard to distinguish notes. Uh, in other words, you can hear all of my fuck ups with these pickups. So that makes a better pickup. And there you have it, folks. That's the EMG headset. Thanks for watching, all you satanic metalheads, and don't forget to comment and like. I am the man that plays on 10. See you soon, and don't forget to subscribe.